everybody, this is a Lamley preview. Fast and Furious Full Force. It is the next mix of Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious coming out right about now on the heels of the Walmart exclusive premium set. Those are the cars. There's the truck from that set. It's hitting right now as well. That's a lot of Fast and Furious product hitting fast and furiously, if you want to put it that way. And there's a good reason for that. This is the time that the movie was supposed to be coming out. Summer 2020, but it has been delayed a year because of COVID-19. That doesn't mean that the product wasn't well on its way. And Hot Wheels said, well, let's just let it go and be released and be out. And that is what is happening. So we we'll might see some more new product when the movie's released next year. Mattel has some time to create that. But we have some new product to go over. And yes... A couple of repeats. I've heard a lot of you talking about that, so a lot of you disappointed. I totally get the disappointment in that, but I thought maybe we need a little bit of Fast and Furious appreciation. Now you guys know I keep screwing up. I don't. I don't remember half the time what these car, what movies these cars are from. You guys always correct me, so you know that I'm not a huge fan of the movies, but I am a huge fan of this premium mix. Because you can start looking at all of the castings that have been made for this particular line that have been released in this particular line and models that have since been released in other lines like Car Culture and Period Correct Exclusives and everything else. And you start going, holy cow, this is fantastic. And none of these castings would have been released if Hot Wheels didn't have the Fast and Furious license and the budget and the desire to create these castings. So whether or not I like them in Fast and Furious, whether or not like I'm really keen of the deco, leave it out of that one, all I know is that we have the casting, and it's this license and this relationship that has created it. So if you're a fan of the movies, you're super happy. If you're not even a fan of the movies, you're also very, very happy. So I am all for this line continuing on as long as it needs to because we are seeing some fantastic models being released because of it so no complaints from me even when there might be a couple of repeats now why are there repeats i have no idea sometimes you know it's just you got to fill in some gaps maybe there's a car in this set that was supposed to be part of the new movie that they really really don't want out there and it was a last minute fill i have no idea if that's the case i don't think it is but you never know they might say hey that super cool car we can't really show that yet so we have the license already for the RX-7. Throw it in there. Fill it in so we can get this mix out. Like I said, I don't know if that's the case. Probably not. But things like that do happen. There's reasons for it. And to be honest, considering all these cool castings, I'm okay with it. So let's go ahead and look at this set. There's some really cool stuff in here. But we will start with the repeats. We'll get to those. And then we'll get to what I think are the, and what I think most of you, what I think are the cool cars uh, the other three. These are all cool cars. What am I saying? But uh, the newer stuff, right, that we haven't seen yet. So let's start with the 95 Mazda RX-7. Now, we can look at the artwork. This is Julian's art. You can see it's fantastic. If anything, you get this new artwork, which looks really, really good. Full Force is the name of the theme. Is the theme. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, some reference to the movie, right, or maybe the new movie. You guys will tell me for sure. Here is the back. Here is this if you want it. Now let's take a look at the models. Well, let's just open it, right? I think that's what we're here to do. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Destroy some card art. And let's have a look at the model itself. Now, you've seen this one. I have looked at it compared to the other RX-7, and I see absolutely no difference at all. Color's the same. Uh, deco is the same. Wheels are the same. Interior is the same. It is the same. So, RX-7, repeat. Let's move on to the 70 Dodge Charger RT. The art is beautiful. Now, I didn't even... I, I put those cards together. We, can, we do see some difference. I'm going to pull out. We've seen this Charger uh, released quite a bit, including the latest one in the uh, premium set. We'll put this off to the side in a glossy black color with a uh, chrome grill. Put that here. And now we see it in a matte black. Now here's the art. Let's open up the model. 
I don't know how much difference we're going to see in the models themselves or in the cars themselves. And I don't even know if there's a gloss black and a uh, matte black charger as well in the movies. Like if one is different than the other, you guys can help fill me in. But this one is very cool in matte black. Five spoke real rider rims. Even the uh, engine is a dull gray versus a chrome uh, engine in the uh, on the other one and then even the grill is black versus chrome so I'm guessing I could be wrong but I am guessing that uh, there were two different chargers in the movies right maybe maybe one crashed and Dom had to get another one and you can see how I tend to forget all of those little details all right we've worked through those let's get on to the three castings we have not seen before Starting with this one, number three of five. We're not doing this in order, obviously. Uh, dog is mad at something. Probably because I don't remember my chargers. Um, this is number three of five. It is the 71 Plymouth GTX. Now, have we seen this in one of the Walmart, you know, basic ranges? Maybe we have. I don't remember. Casting has already existed. I don't know if it's existed in premium. But here is the art. And I love that art. I think it's fantastic. Well, let's open it up. This, my friends, may be my favorite of the set. Gloss black, GT style real riders, and kind of a bronze color, kind of a matte bronze color with the uh, chrome lips. I just think that is phenomenal. Just a cool muscle car, kind of sitting in a nice, cool stance. What was this? There was the GTX and then the Roadrunner. So maybe this casting, I'm looking at it. Yeah, it says 2010. I, maybe that's when the casting was done. I don't remember. But this one looks great. So yeah, I'm going to put this one on the... Uh, I'll put it back here. On the uh, possible, maybe my favorite of the set. I think I know what one I think is the favorite. But let's just get to it. Number two of five... It is the 2017 Acura NSX. Now we really don't know, right? This is this was not in any other previous movie. Am I correct? You guys will let me know in the comments. Love the art. And this is... So I have one complaint here. Because if you look at that, that is just one cool car, right? Some opinions that the NSX is a little boring. Kind of copied the Audi R8. I get it. But um, I still think it's a very cool looking car. That's in the one of ones. The, you know, the full scale model, right? But I like the replica. I just like the low profile tires here, the way they fill the wheel wells, and they use the GT wheels, which I just don't. I wish they would have used those six spoke um, real riders that they've used on, uh, you know, which ones I'm talking about, like here. I would have liked to have seen these white wheels in black. I guess here's a better example, like on the Skyline, because I think they just fill in, they just sit a little bit lower profile than the GT wheels here. That being said, the Acura looks fantastic in silver. And you know what? Now that I've opened it up, it doesn't look as bad. Wheels could use a little bit, you know, the lower profile, but it's okay. And uh, the casting itself looks very, very nice. I'm curious to see how this car is going to be used in the movies. So yeah, I'm in it. I like that one. Model that I was most excited about is this one. Jaguar XE SV Project 8. Art is tremendous. Same opinion. Could have used the lower profile six spoke style wheels because the art looks so good, but the model is fantastic. This model only what debuted in the basic range last year, and we've seen it in one color um, already in the basic range, but now it's gone premium. So it has the metal chassis. And obviously this one has a role in this blue with the Jag Deco. Maybe it's a good guy car, maybe it's a bad guy car, but it's going to be in the movie, right? I assume. And it looks great. Love the front grille. Yeah, you know what? The GT wheels, I think it's from the side profile that I kind of have an issue with. From every other angle, it looks pretty good. Those GT wheels, they made them just a, just a fraction of a millimeter too small. And I wish they'd redo them just to make them just a tad bit bigger. 
But this is cool. I'm glad to see this casting. This is not a casting that you typically see in premium, but there it is, and I think it looks great. So there you go. Full force. Fast and furious, full force. Dog, I'll tell you a little thing about my dog. When she sees another dog, she you've seen her pictures of her. She's tiny. She likes to tell the neighborhood that she's big and tough. And uh, it seems to happen a lot when I'm filming videos. That being said, pretty cool set, right? I'm going to go with the Jag and the GTX as my favorites in this set. You guys can tell me what you think. Uh, we'll find out in a year what these cars, what uh, some of these cars, the role they play, at least uh, the Acura and the Jag. But um, until then, we'll just enjoy the uh, replicas. And we'll see where they show up later. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Hey, I said if you stay till the end, I had a giveaway, and I do. I have an extra set of this Fast and Furious Full Force Mix. Mattel sent a case over. That means two, two sets, so I've got one to give away. So here's what you need to do. Go to the video description to the and follow the link to the Lamley Extras YouTube channel. That is my other channel. I do some other showcases there. Subscribe to that channel, and then come back to this video and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, or so I have subscribed to Lamley Extras, or subscribed, or anything. And then I will pick the winner on the Lamley Extras channel this weekend. And we will send that set to that winner. That is where that contest is going. Lamley Extras YouTube channel. Subscribe. Leave a comment on this video. And we'll do the giveaway on Lamley Extras this weekend. See you then.